Yeah, that's correct, Gene. As you can imagine, they're emotionally broken up. Now, the state police major crimes van just arrived here on scene about 15 minutes ago, and we're seeing detectives with that unit continue to arrive in this area. Now, according to Seabrook Police, it was around 9 o'clock this morning when they got a call reporting the shooting on Boynton Lane. Police say when they arrived that they found uh, two victims. Now, there's been no word yet officially from uh, police as far as the uh, nature of the victim's wounds. However, I did talk to the relatives who say they are the brother of the man who was shot and killed. They say they don't know what set off the shooting. And then another brother and uh, woman, excuse me, man and woman said they are related to the other victim. They say that victim was taken to Portsmouth Regional Hospital uh, with serious wounds that their parents are with him at the time, at this time, but unfortunately they're not able to see them. Now, one man who lives behind the house where the shooting took place said he heard it happen. Sitting in the camper this morning and um, around 8, 8.30 I heard one shot go off and then another second later I heard a second shot go off and that's all I heard. I ended up staying in the camper because I did not want to go outside because it sounded like it was right out front. We do have a suspect in custody. We don't believe that there's any danger to the community at this time, but we do ask uh, people to remain away from the area. We are still working to make the scene safe. So that's why you see a large uh, police presence. Now, the lockdowns in the neighboring schools and also in plazas have been lifted, although some businesses still remain closed as you take a live look at the scene here on Boynton Street. Now, the Attorney General's office is set to release more information later on today. Uh, uh, once again, though, the family, as you can imagine, emotionally distraught at this time. They said they didn't want to have anything to say, wouldn't have anything to say at this point. Reporting live in Seabrook, Ray Brewer, WMUR News. News 9.